Hello everybody, you are welcome to the second edition of our educational program done by English Department in Mu'ad bin Jabal Independent Primary School. My dear students of grade 5, it's your end of the third assessment revision, 2015-2016. Let's start now with the first part reading. As you know, reading comprehension directions, the questions in this part are based on reading material. Refer to the text to answer the questions. And let's start now with the first text. The first text here talks about time. Have you got the time? People today are all thinking about the time. There never seems to be enough time to do all the things we want to do. Believe it or not, there was a time before time was so important. It was enough to know that the sun was out. That meant it was daytime. During these days, when the clock seems to control us, doesn't that sound kind of nice? Time can mean a lot of different things. That's one way we know how important it is for us. We have so many words about it. The smallest amount of time we can measure is called a second. When you put 60 seconds together, you get one minute. If you take 60 minutes, you get one hour. The hands of the clock go all the way around twice in 24 hours, giving us one day. If you want to look at time beyond one day, you leave the clock and look at a calendar instead. There are about 30 days in one month. Some months have an extra day. February, for example, has a couple less. There are 12 months in one year. Time never stops. That was our text. Let's move now to the questions. Yeah, it's the first question. What are people all thinking about these days? Are they thinking about time, or crime, or sun, or hour? Oh, so we have to look again at the text to get our answer. Yeah, the answer is clear here the first line. People today are all thinking about the time. So our answer is the time. A Time is the answer. Question number two. A calendar shows us time beyond one space. One what? A second or minute or hour or day. So we have to have a lock again to the text. Yeah, so it is clear in the third paragraph here that the answer is day. If you read the first sentence in the third paragraph, if you want to look at time beyond one day, you leave the clock and look at a calendar instead. So the answer is day. D, day. Okay, let's move to question number three. What is the smallest amount of time? Is it a second, or a minute, or an hour, or a day? Uh, by scanning the text again, yeah, it's clear in the second paragraph. You can notice the smallest amount of time we can measure is called a second. So, the answer here is a second. The smallest amount of time is a second. Good. Moving to question number four. Yeah, question number four. How many days does February have? How many days does February have? It's obvious in the text. 
Yeah, in the last sentence or in the last paragraph, you can notice a sentence says February has a couple less. Oh, so February has a couple days less. Couple here means two. So February has two days less. If the month contains 30 days and February has two days less. So we have to subtract 30 minus 2 to equals 28. So we have 28 days in February. So February has 28 days in the year. Now we have finished four questions about text 1. Let's move now to text 2. Reading 2. One of the things I like best about school is my art class. We have a great teacher named Mrs. Holbert. She's a wonderful artist. I love to watch her draw and paint. She taught us how to mix paint to make just the right colors for our paintings. We draw and paint almost every day in the class. Some days we lock up pictures of other artists. It is interesting to do this. Helps me to think of things that I want to paint or draw. We have an art exhibit in May this year. Our work will be in one of the banks in our town. We are inviting people from the community to our exhibit. Our parents are invited to go with us. I have three paintings I'm working on now. I hope one of them will be chosen to be in the exhibit. I like having a goal to work toward. So, we have finished reading the text now. Let's start in the questions. Yeah, question number one. What is the student's favorite class? Or what is the student's favorite class? Is it art or math or Arabic or English? Ah, so we have to have a quick look on the text again. One of the things I like best about school is my art class. So it's obvious that the answer is art. Yeah, it's art. Good. Let's move to the second question now. What, what did Mrs. Hilbert teach the class to do? Is it bake chocolate cake? Or write great stories? Or mix paint or read a magazine so we have to have a quick look again at the text yeah she taught us in the third line you can read the sentence she taught us how to mix paint to make just the right colors for our paintings so the answer is to mix paint Yeah, it's number C, mix paint. Okay, let's move to the question number three. Where will the art exhibit be? Where will the art exhibit be? A, at the library. B, in one of the banks. C, at the school. Or D, in library. Yeah, it's written or it is said in the text. Let's have a quick look at the text. Yeah, we have an art exhibit in May this year. Our work will be in one of the banks in our town. In one of the banks in our town. So 
in one of the banks is the answer. Yeah, number B in one of the banks. Question number four. What does this student hope will happen with her paintings? What does this student hope will happen with her paintings? Yeah, in the last few sentences, you can notice the answer. I hope one of them will be chosen to be in the Higgs habit. So, he hopes one of them will be chosen. And we know that them here refers to the paintings. So, we can say that he hopes one of his paintings will be chosen to be in the exhibit. So, the answer is he hopes one of his paintings will be chosen in the exhibit. And now, my friends, we have moved to part two grammar. Let's identify the directions now. You read 20 incomplete sentences. There are four words marked A, B, C, and D under each sentence. Choose the one word that best completes the sentence. Pay attention to the underlined words. Now, begin work on the questions. Question number one. Here is a book. Describes animals. Here is a book. Space describes animals. Is it where? Is it when? Is it which? Or who? As you know, it's a structure of pronoun or relative pronouns. As we know, my friends, relative pronouns are used to refer to nouns mentioned previously, whether they are ideas, animals, things, places, or people. They are when, where, which, who. We use where for places. And we use when for time. We use which for things. And we use who for people. So guess what? We have to look at Bach. Book is a place? No, so we can't use where. Book is time? No, so we can't use when. Book is people? No, so we can't use who. Oh, now it's clear that the answer is which. Good. Let's move to next question. Question number two. Lions are very space animals. Lions are very space animals. Stronger, strongest, strong, the strong. We can't use stronger. We can't use stronger. Tell me why. Yes, good, because we don't compare here. We don't compare between lions and anything other. We are we are just saying that lions are very strong animals but we don't compare between lions and any other animal so we don't have to use strong and also we can't use the strongest as also uh, for the same reason we don't compare between lions and any other animals and the strong the word the strong is a wrong form is a wrong form it doesn't match with very the strong animals so it's clear that the answer is strong so we can say lions are very strong animals yes good let's move now to question number three question number three i bought a new bike last week full stop Space bike is blue. So, we, as you know, my friends, bike here is mentioned before in the first sentence. At the time, we have to use what? Nothing, or a, or an, or that. 
Good. It's that. It's that. We have to write the here. As it is mentioned before in the last or in the previous sentence. Let's move to question number four. Question number four, the man's face is in the room, is angry. As we know, my friends, who, whose, is used for possessive, for possessive. And who is used for people, or refers to people, which refers to things, where refers to places. So, which one? We have to look at man. Man is possession? No. Man is people? Yeah, so it is the answer. So, we can write who here. The man who is in the room is angry. Let's move now to question number five. Question number five says, an elephant's brain, an elephant's brain is space, a whale's brain, an elephant's brain is space, a whale's brain. Okay. Is it bigger than, is it the biggest, is it the bigger than or more big than? Yeah, so we have to remember now the structure of Comparative and superlative. Comparative and superlative. As we know here, we we compare between two things: elephant brain and whale's brain. So it is comparative. Comparative. So my friends, when we compare between thing between two things, we have to use that. So we can't choose the biggest and also we can't choose uh no we uh, may be bigger than maybe the bigger than maybe more big than okay how can we put an adjective in comparative an adjective like big we can put it into comparative form by adding er we have to double g and add er plus than so the answer is bigger then, good. Let's move now to question number six. Question number six says we plan space this shortly. We plan space this shortly. We plan to finish. We plan finished. We plan finished. We plan finishing. Oh my God, we have to know that. Plan is a verb that must be followed by two plus infinitive. So what is the answer now? The answer is number eight. To finish. Good. So we plan to finish this shortly. Let's move now to question number seven. Question number seven, Hamad and Ali dislike. Hamad and Ali dislike. Dislike what? Dislike space, basketball together. So, dislike is also a verb that must be followed with two plus infinitive or ing. It's up to you to think now. Dislike must be followed by two plus infinitive or ing. Yes, good. This like and like for are followed by ing when talking in general. So the answer is playing. So we have to write playing here. Okay, great. Thank you. Uh, let's move to uh, question number eight. Question number eight says, in the summer, Ahmed goes space every day. In the summer, Ahmed goes space every day. Go must be followed by ing. We have to know that. Go 
uh, is a verb that is followed by ing form gerund. So we don't we don't have to use fish. We don't have to use fish or fished. It's fishing. So fishing is the answer. Good. So let's move to question number nine. Question number nine, some people can't stand. Some people can't stand what? For long hours. Ah, stand and let's uh, let's remember now. Stand and go and like and dislike. That's what we have studied now. The dislikes, all of those are followed by gerund. What is gerund? Gerund means ing. Yeah, so which one? Yeah, good. Working. Working. Okay. Uh, so we have to write working here. Working. Okay. Uh, let's move to question number 10. Take care, my students. Question number 10. How about what? How about space later in the afternoon? How about and what about and let's remember all of them now. How about and what about? Both of them are followed by ing form. So what is the answer? How about meeting later in the afternoon? So the answer is meeting. Good, my friends. Uh, let's uh, let's move now to question number 11 Saleh enjoys friends to her house Saleh enjoys space friends to her house enjoy also must be followed by ing so enjoy must be followed by gerund what is gerund gerund is ing form so the answer is d inviting Saleh enjoys inviting friends to her or to his house to his house Saleh enjoys inviting friends to his house okay uh, let's move to question number uh, 12 Mount Everest is space than Mount Fuji. Mount Everest is space than Mount Fuji. Uh, is it high? Is it higher? Is it highest or more high? As you know, my friends, that here we have two, two things to compare between. So it is not superlative. It is comparative. Comparative. So, how can I put an adjective in comparative? How can I put an adjective in comparative? An adjective like high, if I want to use it to compare between Mount Everest and Mount Fuji, so I compare between two things. When I want to put this adjective in comparative, I, I have to add er to it and followed by then. So, then is written here in the sentence. So I have to write higher than here. So the answer is number B. Good. Let's move now to question number 13. Uh, this soup is space than that soup. This soup is space than that soup. Yeah, it is the same structure as the last question but a little difference uh, as we know this soup and that soup we have two two things to compare about so it is comparative form so we have to add er for the adjective but it is a problem here the adjective here is delicious is delicious and d lee just it co it consists of three syllables Syllables, okay, three syllables. So I can't add 
er as it is a little hard to pronounce it i can't say delicious sir i can't say that so i have to add more before the adjective when the adjective is more than two syllables i have to add more before it and then after it so the answer must be more delicious than and we have then in the sentence so uh, we need to circle no not this we need to circle more delicious this soup is more delicious than that soup okay good let's move now to question number 14 Question number 14, Ahmed isn't as space as Ali. Uh, so we here have to show the similarity between Ahmed and Ali. When I want to show the similarity between two persons or two things, I have to use as and as. And between them, I have to write the same or the adjective in infinitive the origin adjective without any addition so i have to use tall only tall so ahmed isn't as tall as ali oh here we show the similarity uh, we talk about the similarity between ahmed and ali let's move to question number five yeah question number 15 the blue whale the blue whale is the space of all the blue whale is the space of all heavy heavier heaviest most heavy so here we compare between the blue whale and all of the other whales so we compare between more than two things so it is superlative when we want to put the adjective in superlative form we have to add e s t to the adjective we have to add e s t to the adjective if the adjective here is heavy heavy so i have to add e s t i have to uh, to remove y and replace it by I and add E S T and write the rest of the adjective so the answer is heaviest as we have the here so the blue will is the heaviest heaviest of all so the answer is clear to be heaviest and now my dear friends this is the end of our presentation part one reading section keep it up wishing up the best of luck thank you